Russell Gahagan coming back at you with another video. We're in the pub and grill. Going to talk fishing report here for Sheboygan. Uh, it's pretty exciting. It's been a little bit tough uh, since the beginning of Salmonorama, uh, which was, um, you know, which was kind of the mid-season lull that we sometimes have, especially when we get the warm water that we've got. Uh, but the fish are biting now. That's the most important thing. So we're entering into August. Today's July 31st, Saturday, July 31st, last day of July, entering into our... Uh, our final month of the triplets, as I call it, June, July, and August, the mainstay months of Lake Michigan salmon and trout fishing, and fishing really started popping this morning. Water's still warm. Uh, it takes 70, 80 feet down to get to a, a break in the, in the water temperature, but uh, the boats are really catching them this morning. Multiple charter boats reporting, many charter boats reporting double-digit catches this morning and quite a few kings. Two-year-old kings, three-year-old kings, adult kings. Uh, the bite seems to be best from... 200 foot of water to 300 foot of water. Uh, a lot of boats are doing east-west trolls. Some are going north and south in that deal. I think the biggest thing uh, for people if they're not, um, you know, fishing pretty regularly is maybe start with an east-west troll. And if you get a few bites, uh, like my dad told me this morning, I think at 260, you had to double, or double a nice fish, maybe punch that in and then maybe work through that uh, waypoint north and south for a while see if you can pick up some more fish. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about what's working. Um, as I said, 200 foot to 300 foot of water out of Sheboygan, uh, straight out and a little bit south, and 70 to about 120 down seems to be the key area in the water column. So downriggers down deep, uh, wire dipsies and braided dipsies down deep, and then, you know, like 250, 300, 350, 400 coppers, stuff like that. So uh, it's it's a little bit of a mix of a flasher fly and a spoon bite. Sounded like it was a little more flasher flies this morning, but I'm going to show you a little bit of each. So some of the spoons that have been working for, for some kings out there, some nice fish, has been um, some salmon candy magnum spoons in the Hulk UV Super Glow. So that's a, uh, that's a Glow Series magnum spoon in the Hulk UV. That's been good. Um, Green Jeans UV Super Glow, that's been good. Uh, that's been a real good one here in the mag. That's another Glow series. Um, and then one that's been working recently is, is Prog Revenge. Um, a good dark colored spoon with a lot of glow in it that's really been working well um, deep down on downriggers or like a 300 or 400 copper. Uh, then as far as flashers go, uh, there's been a few standouts here in the last couple of days uh, when the guys have been able to get out. Um, there's obviously always more than two or three, as I, I hear from a lot of different boats and a lot of different reports. Uh, but the, you know, showing you a couple of the ones I'm hearing, uh, black eyed peas on white. Um, so just called black eyed peas. Um, that one's been real good. Um, green skittles has been real good. Uh, that's one that always tends to work in the month of August. Um, one that you should have in your lineup if you don't. Just a great late in the year flasher. Um, and then uh, Superman. This is also one of my favorite sort of late July into August flashers. Uh, this one's been good for many years. Kind of nice. It's got uh, crush tape on the front with some green dots, UV tape on the back with some green dots. So as you can see, a lot of white blades. I did hear a little bit this morning about some green, you know, Marv's Big Fatty and some of the other kind of standard staple green ones. A couple of chrome flashers, um, but not many. Uh, a lot of white. Primarily what I heard was white. Now, as far as flies go, what I'm hearing um, is uh, No Mercy seems to be one of the real standouts uh, this morning um, for a lot of the boats. Uh, Green Willie, which was working for me up in Door County, also seems to be working here um, for a lot of the boats, which is pretty similar to No Mercy. And then still on White Blades, Naughty Leprechaun has, has really been a standout. It's been a standout for a couple of weeks and it continues to be a standout here um, heading into August. So there's a fishing report. Action is getting hot in Sheboygan. Um, I'm looking forward to a really good August. The last couple of Augusts have been fantastic out in that deeper water, uh, down deeper with great mixed bags of fish. I heard reports of cohos this morning, rainbows, lake trout, two, three, four-year-old kings. I mean, so boats are just catching a variety of fish. They're catching some numbers of fish. Things are about to get hot. So get ready for the month of August on Lake Michigan here out of Sheboygan. Uh, if you need anything, you can call me at the store at 920-395-2079. You can check out www.salmoncandyfishing.com or www.therealshot.com for all your needs. Have a great day. Good luck.